Hi, this is Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com. Today's subject is playing the piano to the room. What do I mean by that? The room that you're playing in can be as important to the sound and the approach to the keyboard as the piano you're playing. It's absolutely true. I remember, for example, in high school, there was a seven-foot Baldwin semi-concert grand, and that piano was kept to the side of the stage in an incredibly echoey room, and it was almost deafening in there. And I'd practice in there whenever I had a chance. Then it would come on stage with the curtains closed. It was a completely different sound, and I felt I had to approach the keyboard differently in order to project the sound. Then when the curtain was opened, I could hear the sound into the hall. Now, that hall happened to be a pretty live hall, so it was important not to use too much pedal. Otherwise, things could get muddy. In fact, even the tempo you play a piece should vary depending upon the acoustics of the hall. A hall that's very reverberant, things can get muddied and you have to take more time in certain places. So playing to the room is something that all instrumentalists have to deal with. So as pianists, we have a double whammy. We have to adjust to the piano and we have to adjust to the room. But anybody else, whether they play violin, flute, trumpet, clarinet, they have to figure out how to play to a room to project the sound and to, get a, to reach the last row in the audience and to have the appropriate sound for that space. Certainly, if you're playing in a living room, you don't want to blow people out of there. So you want to temper your sound to match the room, always using your ears. It's not molding one performance. It's being in the kind of shape where at that moment, instantly you can create the right sound for that piano and that room. Thanks so much for the great questions here at livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrin. We'll see you next time.